Good morning. Welcome back to the Nepal Show. Um, I have to make an apology. I think I said Tammy Aldridge before. I meant Tammy Bingham from Corio, yep. who has actually been out injured for most of the season. So I just wanted to rectify that. Um, going on to the next game, uh, Werribee 63 defeated Bannockburn 28. Probably Flick, no great surprise there. No, no surprise there. By the looks of things, um, the Ward sisters were shooting well for Werribee and uh, they are a strong team. We say that all the time. So yeah. hard for anyone to come up against. Yeah, I think um, yeah, Bannockburn have got a, young, a lot of young girls down there as mm. well and they're blooding them. Uh, pretty much like Inverley are this year, mm. um, and they're just you know finding they're going a little bit tougher than mm. probably some of the other teams. On that, I'd like to see where it be in uh, Inverley and Bannockburn in a couple of years' time when the girls have been playing together for a while. Oh look, Inver- well, they'll be right up there. Inverley's going to be a, a, mm. a force to be reckoned with in a couple of years from now. Yep. Um, if they keep you know that core cool group of young girls together, um, uh, even um, Andrew McMaster, who's a you know. Uh, Great defender, she mm. um, got her down playing goals as well. Mm. Um, and uh, so her and Tori down in goals, they're big, big girls, yep. and trying to stop them, your yeah, defenders have their hands full. Yeah. Yep. Um, so it's good to see. Um, Thompson, 56, defeated North Geelong in their last game. Uh, and North Geelong, were 35, I think I said. Yep. Probably you're not thinking that North are going to beat Thompson, but um, Brooke Young once again played in goals. And I believe Kelly Parker played wing attack. Mm, it's so nice, yeah. that's good to see that mm. you know North are taking the initiative with their young girls now and, and giving them a go. Mm. Um, I'm thinking I haven't seen Kelly play wing attack for many years, <laughs> um, probably t- probably more than ten years ago. Um, but <clears throat> Kelly's good. She's got that movement and yep. great that great feed into the goal circle to mm. Julie yep. uh, and Tori. Um, so um, good to see that at least you know North are. Being proactive with the youngsters mm. and, and and give them a go. Mm. And probably a good um, reliable source on the on the fit, on the uh, court as well. That stable and calms the game down and everything like that for this for the junior players that are in sh- shots as well. She's able to talk to them from from the wing and really slow it down for them and make it good positioning for them as well. I suppose so. Yeah, um, that's probably not a bad thing to be doing. Uh, see uh, Birchie down there, the defender for um, North Geelong. You know, did a, played a great game on the weekend also against Thompson, and I think it's only in the second half that Thompson actually mm. managed to get away from mm. uh, from North Geelong. Yep. Um, so it's good to see there. I think uh, for the first time this season, we'll we'll touch on the ladders now. Uh, round seven, we're Certainly. completed, and we'll just go through the ladders. Uh, Werribee, of course, on top, uh, closely followed by Thompson. Both teams on twenty eight points mm. uh, and remain undefeated for the season. When what round do they play each other in, Birdie? Do you know? Uh, that must be coming up soon, a big good must, game to watch. It must be coming up very shortly, but I'm not 100% sure where. Yeah, I'm not sure, but we'll have a look at that. I'll hunt that down a bit later on yeah, during sure. the dead break. Yep. But um, they only play each other once yeah. during the regular season before mm. the finals come along. Mm. Um, so it'll be a great game uh, to see. Uh, Belpost Hill slipped into third spot, mm. uh, which I'm sure that Terry down at Belpost Hill would be very mm. happy about. Mm. Um, although he's got a tough game coming up uh, later on this afternoon uh, against uh, your mob. Yep. So, uh, <laughs> uh, Clayton, of course, Winchell Sea, talking of the devil, um, <laughs> in, four, in fourth position there. Uh, and they're only half a game off third. Yep. And also North Geelong make up the five, mm. and they're only half a game off third as well. Yep. Uh, just outside the five, East Geelong, um, and East Geelong are only half a game out of the five, which is great to see. Good to see. And, uh, you know, if they keep playing like they've been playing, I think mm. East have got a great chance of um, pushing up into that top five. Yep. Uh, closely followed by Corio with uh, only two wins on the board from seven games, and I'm sure that, um, you know, uh, Michelle Rusakis down there w- won't be really happy with the way their season's been turning out. And, of course, later on this afternoon, I think they've got Thompson, so that's going to be a tough game mm, for them as well. Very. Uh, to come up over the top. Um, Inverley sitting in eighth position, and I think Mandy's happy with that at the moment. Um, and I think Inverley just got to be a little bit more consistent from week to week. Mm. Um, and if they played like they played against Correa last week, the team's going to have their hands full. Yep. And uh, they're going to be hard to beat. Mm. Uh, Bannockburn just behind them, followed by Belmont Lions, Anarchy and Geelong West mm. bring up the bottom of the ladder. Um, looking at B grade, once again, Werribee on top there. They're very strong. Very strong this year, Werribee. 
Uh, they're half a game in front of Thompson, who are sitting second, and Bellpost Hill sitting third. Um, so, uh, Corio, who were last year's B grade grand finalists, uh, is coming in fourth there on 20 points. Mm. They're actually a game and a half out of the top three, so they will be wanting to win a few more games. Yep. Uh, Anarchy sitting fifth. Uh, on the ladder, and I saw Anarchy play a few weeks ago out at Belmont. And not, not a bad team. They beat Belmont by a goal a couple of weeks ago. It was a tough game, mm. very windy day. and but um, So Anarchy make up the the five there. Uh, Belmont Lions uh, just sitting outside in sixth position on the B-grade ladder. North Geelong, East Geelong, Winchelsea, Inverley, Bannockburn, and Geelong West make up the rest of the ladder. Just, there's no surprises in there. Probably not, you know. It's sort Over. of sitting the same as what it was at the end of last year. Yeah. Bar the fifth, sixth position there. So Exactly right. Um, you know, the top three positions, you know, Werribee, uh, Thompson, Belpo mm. still seems mm. to be the same, same, same. Although Corio did make a late charge last year. They did, yes. They, and um, they, they came good right at the end of the year. They, they, they clicked and they came over the top of everyone. Mm. Yep. And uh, played some great netball last mm. year. Uh, the C grade. Once again, Werribee on top of the ladder in C grade as well. Uh, my God, how, how good are Werribee? <laughs> <coughs> um, I'm sure Paul and That'll Lynn uh, are watching down They're in Werribee proud. this morning. They, they love, love watching the show. So hi, Paul and Lynn out there. Um, and they make sure that I don't say anything bad about Werribee. <laughs> I'll get some nasty emails. Uh, so North Geelong mm, coming second there. Uh, they're undefeated as well. Mm. So Werribee and North in C grade. That'll be a great game when that happens in yep. um, a, a few weeks' time. Um, Thompson are coming third. Of course, Thompson last year's grand finalists in C grade. Anarchy and Bellpost Hill make up the five as well. Mm. Inverley just outside in sixth position. Uh, I think they'll. I think if they're playing a few of their juniors, they may push that up a little bit for Inverley too. Yeah. I think they'll they'll come up to in the top five by in the next uh, four or five rounds. Look, I'm really uh, I really like to see Inverley do well, mm. and they've always been you know. A bit forgotten out in the out in the sticks where they are, and mm. all of a sudden they're starting to put some uh, great teams together yeah. uh, under the guidance of Madden and Lombrant there, mm. and you know, and actually, you know, they're going to be a threat in a few years' time. Yep. They really, are, really are going to step up. Um, just to finish off the C grade ladder, uh, East Geelong sitting seventh, uh, Bannockburn, Geelong West, Belmont Lions, Corio, and Winch. Winch are <laughs> last. What's going on there? <laughs> Good on, players, girl. they just can't get it together. Good so. players, they can't get it together. <laughs> God, remember the, the old days of Winchester were a powerhouse in C grade. Yeah. But uh, anyway. With all the old ducks. All the old ducks there. <laughs> oh, they were probably going to D grade yeah. now, they? All right, that's great. We finished the ladders uh, A, B and C. Sorry, D grade. We might do you next week. We'll go to a quick break and we'll be back shortly to uh, review today's games. Long.